Hey everyone, I had to stop at Nordstrom and pick up part of an online order and I figured while I'm here, since I'm coming in the store anyway, let's do a little dry on. So this is not in any way sponsored, it's just me doing my thing at Nordstrom like I normally do, except normally I'm not talking to people who aren't actually with me uh, in the dressing room. But I thought I'd start you out with what I am wearing today. So this sweater, I'm wearing it a small, actually not from... Nordstrom is from Avara and I do have 15% off code so I'll put that on the screen and down in the description box. These are frame jeans. I think I'm in a 28. They're a little big but that's okay. I like them a little loose. And then these are the are they Vince Camuto? I don't know. The booties. There's a dead on dupe for these on Amazon. If these are sold out I will link those. And then I have quite a few things that I have accumulated. Even a couple pairs of jeans I want to try from Good American some blouses and stuff and then <laughs> that's mine all right let's get started okay there are a lot of people here and it's a little noisy so we'll do our best to ignore the voices in the background so this I grabbed it's a little loose on me this is a medium but it's from a brand that I've always wanted to try Everly and I've never tried it before. And I actually think it fits just fine. This sort of cut on me, I generally need to size up. In my head, I think I'm smaller than I really am up here. So I, I, this more square cut neckline with the Empire bodice, I definitely do better when I size up. So this is a medium. So I do like how it goes down a little bit more in the back. I like the little eyelet here, but it's still, let me flip you around. Hang on. I love the little cutout and little eyelet, the Swiss dot, but it's not so square cut that it makes it hard to wear a normal bra. You can absolutely wear a regular bra, which is what I am doing right now. Let me show you what the back looks like. So there's the back. This is a lovely angle. <laughs> and here it is from the back, same square cut in the back. Okay, this next piece, I have to say, I don't know if this is a spring thing or if it was a supply chain issue thing and we're seeing things that should have come out in the fall starting to come out in late winter, early spring, but I'm seeing a lot of these fall autumnal type colors, rusts and mustards and browns on the racks in a lot of places. I don't know. Anyway, this is from Treasure Month and I don't know if you can tell, but this is a really unique fabric. It looks like it's gingham, but it's, I'll put down in the description box what it's actually, like the material is, because it's a, almost like a silky feel, but it does have a texture to it. I don't know, I think you could definitely do a little tuck, but I think it's really just meant to be blousy. I love a lot of these details, the subtle puff here. I like the kind of elongated cuff. It has a little bit of a split at the wrist, a little detail there. It's really cute. I love the fabric. It's very lightweight and swingy though. And I'm wearing it in a size small. This next blouse is from Vince Camuto, wearing in a size small, and they have this in so many colors. So the basic premise is a nice silky fabric and then these rivets and they go all the way down. And then it has the button cuffs. So you get a little of a slight balloon sleeve again subtle subtle little puff to the shoulder this is basically a wardrobe staple like if you work in an office you need to dress up something just even like a dressier jeans type outfit the silky material is great fits really well enough room here and if you wanted to wear it let's see yeah Hang on. it's definitely longer in the back so if you wanted to wear it over leggings, like with a cardigan or a blazer over it, you certainly could. In fact, let me share with you the blazer that I just snagged. Okay, I saw this on a display and it caught my eye because it's BB Dakota with Steve Madden. I don't know if it's just a limited collab or if they're always been the same company, but let me see if I can get you closer. It's like a very subtle herringbone print more of a traditional blazer. I would say the arms run really tight. I'm in a small and they are snug. Uh, really nice deep pockets on the side and it does come in like a really nice more traditional tweed like brown and tan option some other colors but I would say maybe size up one or you know I don't know maybe just skip it. it it's leaning really boxy in the body but then really tight in the arms. Yeah I would pass. It just fits very weirdly. I 
know, give this a pass. Now, if you're a fan of the Rails shirts, but the price tag is not your thing, this, admittedly, not the same fabric, but same concept, $100 less. I put three options the uh, stylist for the people next to me just showed up, so she's very good, but try to ignore her voice. Okay, um, I love the longer length. So this is definitely something that you could wear over leggings, which I think it's intended to, or skinny jeans with a long cardigan over it if you wanted to. There's quite a few color options in the plaid other than the green blue, but I love the green blue. And of course, it's thin enough that you could definitely tuck it in and blouse it out. And I'd say it runs true to size. I have in a size small here. Really cute for spring, I think. I personally think this color combo is great for spring. And I love the longer length and the split on the sides. This is a great find. Okay, this is the last top that I have to share with you. And I don't think it does anything for me coloring wise, but I wanted you to see this because I think it's absolutely adorable. If you have different coloring than me, you will love it. And it looks, you know, okay from the front. I like the ribbing detail here. It adds a little bit of interest. And then the wider here, I definitely would do a little tuck just to add some definition. But let me spin the camera around so you can see what's going on in the back. Okay, how cute is the back? And these are functional buttons. Let me double check. Yep, functional buttons. So you could probably do some interesting things if you are so inclined with some unbuttoning, bralettes, things like that. But if you just want a traditional sweater, there you go. Pretty cute. This one's from Madewell and I'm wearing it in a size small. Okay, I do have two pairs of jeans to share with you and they're both from Good American and I like these. Okay, I have been gravitating toward Frame and AG because they're very soft and they're very stretchy and that's great, they're really comfortable. The problem is they're too stretchy right here so that pooch just pooches out. And if you follow Lola Marie Seven on Instagram, she's been talking about how you need the higher con cotton content to hold everything in and that's what good American, they're not stretchy. So I'm wearing these in a size six, 28. And look, the stomach is flat. Well, yeah, it looks pretty flat to me. So these are the size six, good American curve straight, I wanna say. I'll put it on the screen, I gotta double check. I can't read my butt, yeah. So I like these, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're holding it all in, not bad. Okay, these are the last jeans, and this is interesting. Same exact size, whoops, here I am. Same size, size six. Inseam is 28 of both of them, but these are a lot stretchier, and you can see they're starting to bag down. They're a little too big. I already feel like I have to hike them up. I don't, they don't, can you see how my stomach is starting to curve out? So they don't hold my stomach in like the other pair did, and they're a little too big. Like I can feel them starting to slide down my leg, which is a very odd feeling. So it's kind of interesting to know how the different sizes fit. Um, and I wouldn't say size up. I'd say I am most definitely these days a 28, not a 27 in jeans. That's fair to say. So I'd say true size, but like this vintage runs a little big. I'd say the good curve straight, which is what I just had on, runs more true to size. Love to know what you guys think about Good American. Another, by the way, if you like that sucked in feeling, another one that I really like is the A. Goldie Riley. Same concept, a little more pricey though. This is a better price point. Okay, that's it for the try on here. I'm gonna run downstairs and pick up the joggers I ordered. They are corduroy joggers. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get those home. I'll do a quick try on in front of my mirror at home and then we'll call it a day. Okay, I am home from my try on session and all the dogs wanna be right in front of me. Let me see if I can get them to move out of the way. Okay, no, everybody wants to be here. All right, so we're just gonna do our best, especially Rowdy's decided to stand right in front of the mirror. The whole reason that I came to Nordstrom in the first place was to pick these up. I ordered these online. It was an online order pickup. These are joggers from Caslon. I got them in the small. They are corduroy. They're corduroy, but they're like really, really, really fine. Like they feel, they feel like corduroy here, but wearing them, I don't feel like I'm wearing corduroy. I feel like I'm wearing just like cotton pants. These I feel are cut a little bit differently than the linen ones. I can still squeeze myself into an extra small in the linen ones, but these small are just a little snug here. I have a feeling they're gonna stretch a little bit though. And hopefully I'm gonna shrink a little bit as I start moving. So I'm gonna keep them, but I would say definitely get your true size in the corduroy version. These do not run big, unlike some of the other cast on stuff that I have tried on. So, all right, well, with that, I am done 
with today's try on. I hope that you found something that was interesting or maybe you were able to rule something out that maybe you're on the fence about and the information helped you make a better decision. Either way, let me know if you'd like to see more dressing room try ons and from what retailers or if it's a store like Nordstrom, then maybe you want to see more um, on the other side of the store, the more high end things or certain kind of brand. I'm happy to help. It was a lot of fun and uh, I can always need an excuse to go back to Nordstrom. All right. I hope you had fun today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.